Hello, Fire Signs, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. This is a collective reading for Fire Signs. If your person or anyone else who is involved in your situation is also a Fire Sign, it doesn't matter. You were guided to watch this reading, so this reading is meant for you. Your person and those other people are not watching this video. <laughs> you are, and there is a reason for it, all right? Now, let's get your reading started. Um, today, we are going to get you some important love messages, and it's the 24th of May. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading, and it will not resonate with each and every one of you. All right, fire signs, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Spirits and angels, please show me important love messages for fire signs. Ooh. We've got the page of ones. This is definitely you. I feel like a lot of you could be thinking about the future. Uh, wondering what is out there, especially if you're single. But for some of you, you could be in a long-distance relationship. It could mean that. But Paige is also a messenger. So mm -hmm. this, could mi this could be an indication of either you thinking about sending a message to somebody or somebody could be thinking about sending a message to you, okay? We've got the Five of Swords here. So there is this energy of, should I fight for this connection or should I let it go? Or... Uh, five of Swords can also indicate somebody is planning, can be a little bit deceptive or manipulative, wanting to win at all costs, perhaps has a bit of an ego. We've got the Three of Swords here in reverse and also we've got the Queen of Swords in an upright position. You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, um, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, can be any signs, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, so the Queen of Swords here, this for me may be an indication of somebody thinking that perhaps they would like to heal this connection, but ah, there's a bit of a stubborn energy that I'm getting right now. Somebody who wants their way, it's my way or highway. When I say someone, maybe that it could be you or your person, I'm not sure, okay? Because this is a general reading. Um, but I'm definitely sensing this person may be thinking about sending you a message again or you wanting to reach out and talk to your person. Five of Pentacles here is in love first. And we've got these seven of Pentacles here. Look at all of this energy. Everybody is waiting for everybody. That means you could be waiting for your person and your person is also waiting for you. Because look at this person just standing. Page of Wands standing. Nine of Cups sitting down. Queen of Swords sitting down with her swords up. That means, you know, I got my swords up. You know, um, it is what it is. I'm just going to stay cool. Um, I'm not going to allow this person to um, think that I'm weak, right? There's this energy. Again, it could be you or this person. But deep down, Three of Swords, yes, and Love Verse, really wanting to heal this connection, but feeling like Five of Swords. If I'm the one who doesn't speak first, if I wait for the other person to initiate contact first, to initiate contact, then I win. It's like somebody wants to win this, right? <laughs> win this. Who is going to break first? Who is going to crack first? So we've got the Five Pentacles and Love Verse here. Uh, Nine of Cups. Yep, someone is just sitting there waiting for the other person to return, to make the choice to return. Seven Pentacles. And someone is just waiting and observing and not doing anything about it. And Six of Wands and Love Verse. Happy to know or happy to make this person feel that um, that to make this person feel that they are unimportant or that, you know, six of wands in reverse, like someone doesn't want to pay attention to someone, but I feel like this is definitely not true. Um, I feel like this is uh, five of swords is a strategy. This is somebody's strategy to make this person believe that uh, they're not interested. Yeah, but actually they are because they're still waiting. Seven pentacles could be your person still waiting for you. Or it could be also you still waiting for your person <laughs> again. Rules can be reversed or it could be both of you, all right? So Five of Cups here is in reverse. So there is hope. Uh, somebody could be hoping that maybe, you know, during this period of time where someone is not doing anything or not paying attention to this person that somebody will realize. And maybe this person is going to realize what they have lost, right? Again, it could be you or your person. Let's see more.
Yep, see, Six of Pentacles here is in reverse and Page of Pentacles here is in reverse. Okay, so with these Pentacles, they are next to this Queen here, Queen of Swords. All these Pentacles are around the Queen of Swords. So it feels a bit like maybe this is the Queen of Swords energy. So there is someone here whom, again, obviously Six of Pentacles in reverse don't want to give the other person, doesn't want to invest, doesn't want to show any interest, doesn't want to talk Page of Pentacles in reverse. While the other person is now wondering, right? Again, it could be you or the other person wondering why and wondering, is this person still interested? Should I be the one who initiate this contact, right? We've got the Hierophant here, High Priestess and the Nine of Swords. So somebody is getting really worried. Somebody is starting to stress out. Why is this silence, High Priestess? Why, why is there silence? Why is this person not speaking? Why is this person not doing anything, right? The higher fun is right here, starting to ask from, uh, start, starting to ask advice from friends, talking to friends, because the higher fun is like a teacher, and we've got the students here, so it could be your person asking questions or advice from somebody who is older, and they are somebody more experienced than they are, or it could be you doing that. It's a, it's it feels like some sort of consultation. Okay, let's see more. We've got the world here in reverse, judgment, and we've got the knight of pentacles in reverse. Judgment feels like karma, so somebody is trying to teach somebody a lesson here, like showing them, okay, this is what you're doing to me, so I'm going to do it back to you. So there's this energy of, you know, <laughs> uh, revenge. I rarely see the judgment as a revenge, but this time around, I do see that because the knight of pentacles here is in reverse, and the... um. You know, the world here is in reverse, so uh feels a bit like what goes around comes around. So somebody could be deliberately doing that one thing. For example, if you've been doing something to your person, your person now is doing it back to you, right? Maybe it is it has something to do with um communication or the way somebody communicates uh with you or you with them, or it could be anything, but if it just feels like someone here wants to make the other person feel exactly how they made them feel right it feels definitely like a revenge and also the queen of swords is a very revengeful queen as well very vindictive queen because she's been lied to cheated on or mis being mistreated doesn't matter king or queen it's not gender specific so hmm. somebody wants to feel some make somebody feels their absence as well like i'm not there for you so you that will let this person that will leave this person no choice, no other choice, but wonder and question and then initiate contact. And we've got the Wheel of Fortune here in my first. Let's see a little bit more. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. <laughs> so um, Queen of Pentacles is here. It could be dealing with a Virgo Capricorn Taurus and Wheel of Fortune in my first. If you're wondering if your person has moved on yet, if both of you are separated right now, they haven't obviously they are very stuck and two of cups here it feels like both of you do love each other or have feelings for each other but because two of cups is in the right position and a lot of thinking going on eight of swords and nine of swords these two cards for me indicates you know somebody is just thinking so much both of you could be thinking about each other right now it feels like that but both also keeping quiet right we've got the high priestess here and the chariot and the eight of pentacles somebody here again it could be you or your person but somebody here is just doing his or her own thing just you know could be traveling could be working really really hard trying to forget about you or you trying to forget about your person by working really really hard <laughs> eight of pentacles here and you've got the king of pentacles in love first so both of you are supposed to be a true match actually but someone needs to grow up one person needs to grow up here needs to um commit um needs to be less uh either less selfish or less childish or immature but one person is already there though queen of pentacles right again it could be you or your person but one of you is already there is already committed already knows what he or she wants and is working hard 
um, towards this connection or working hard on themselves right now very stable steady energy here while the other person is still kind of like the page of wands right page of wands is an explorer somebody whom is adventurous but rarely stick around but i definitely sense this energy of both of you perhaps could be not speaking with each other right now unless this energy of also both of you are thinking a lot about each other but both of you are going to hash things out judgment eventually both of you will talk will see each other it's just a matter of time with the seven of pentacles here and there's this energy again five of swords of just playing mind games and doesn't want to lose perhaps i feel like it could be ego related all right five signs Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius, this is your reading. Hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to leave you with my latest video on the screen right now. This video is from my second channel. It's a travel vlog channel. If you're interested, check it out. And I will also leave you with a playlist on the screen. This playlist has all of the readings that I've done for you for the rest of the signs with different topics, different questions. But they're still valid readings. As you guys know, I post your videos almost every single day. And also, I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Take care. Bye.